Okay, well let's do a little bit of um, transforming. And so we got this spore face that we've seen many times before. And note, if we look at the layers, we have these two different, we have the two different layers, and we're going to select the layer with the face. And there's a lot of things you can do to transform uh, this layer, which will transform this face, since it's the only thing in the layer. And what you do is you make sure the layer is selected, then you go up to Image and Transform, and there's these different options. Um, skew, Distort, Perspective are all pretty similar. Um, distort is pretty much all of them put together, but we'll start with Free Transform. Because um, all of these basically come down to you can change the edges, etc., and um, the different options just sort of make it so easier to change them in certain ways. So we'll go with free transform, and you can just experiment and see what I mean. Free transform means that I can change the size. If I grab on the corner, it'll do it proportionately. If I do it above or up or down, and it'll make it skinnier or chubbier. And um, if I want to not use any of those options, I can use this handy little cancel operation or accept. Because once you get into the transform mode, it won't do anything else until you finish the transformation, which you have to do by either um, accepting it or canceling it. And as soon as you choose another option it'll give you a warning about that but anyway I'm gonna cancel it so we're back to the original another thing if I go to transform free transform is that I can rotate it so I can rotate the image however I want alright so those are the basic this basic kind of transformation you can do with a, a free transform command but then if you want to do some other things, you can skew, distort, or do perspective. And I'm just going to do distort. You can play with them all uh, and you get the idea. So now when you grab a hold of different these different angles, it does not do them in a proportionate way or a logical way like you would expect, but rather it gets this kind of cool effect. So see, like I can make the head top of it really big. So now he's got a really big forehead, or the opposite. He's got a really big neck. I can do these things that sort of look like he's going sideways. See, so it looks like it, the picture is sort of showing up because of the, looking up because of the perspective. And you can make it same difference, so it's looking down. So you can do all kinds of interesting things with the distort perspective, etc. So those are all then uh, different types of transformation. The only other one I'll show you which is um, the most simple but one that you may use a lot if you just want to ch change the size of the image you can say image resize and scale and this way if you grab on the corner you get it bigger and on top you get the same distortion. This will work of course the same with free transform it's just this way it keeps it from getting too complicated. Um, and that's um, a couple other things about size I'll, I'll finish with. And that is you can change the image size. Um, and the difference though is you can also resample. So like if you're, sometimes if your image gets smaller it looks worse or if it gets bigger it looks worse. And you can help a lot by clicking this resample button and then you can change the size of the image and it doesn't look so bad and also you can constrain or not constrain the uh, proportions so that it um, will be proportionate to height and width so if I change the dimensions like that see it just makes the picture littler now one last thing is this background that you're doing everything against is called the canvas so if I go to image resize and um, say canvas size that'll keep the image the same but this background I could make it bigger now I like to use pixels since I do most everything for the web not to print and so make it say 800 by 800 and say OK and now you see we have this big huge background around this big huge canvas around our two different 
uh, are two different layers. So those are different ways you can transform an image and it, literally you're actually transforming the layer but if there's only one image on the layer then you're transforming it and uh, different ways you can change the size of the canvas and the image.